Today I am bringing you super delicious, really easy crock pot recipes. For the first one, we are making this sausage Tuscan soup. So to a hot skillet, I'm adding one package of the hot Italian sausage. This was in the casings, so I just cut them out. We are gonna cook this until it's about 50% done. While that is cooking, we are gonna cut up half of an onion and three cloves of garlic. Once our sausage is about 50% done, we are just gonna add that onion and garlic right in there and just stir this until it is completely cooked. Now into the crock pot you will be draining this. I was running late in between my lunch break so I was just trying to get as little of that grease in there as I can. Now we are going to pour in two and a half cups of chicken broth. I think next time I might just use two cups because I felt like it had a little bit too much. Now add in a half cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Mine were already cut up and then for the seasoning I have one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and one fourth teaspoon of parsley. We are gonna cook this on low for five to six hours. Once it is almost done, I am making a mixture to thicken it up a little bit. So I'm pouring in one cup of heavy cream and then two tablespoons of cornstarch. You're just gonna mix this together. It's gonna make the soup a little bit more thick. But we are just gonna pour that right in there. For our cheese, I have one cup of Parmesan and then we are just going to add in about a handful or so of spinach. I put the lid back on this and let this cook down for about 30 minutes on high just so the spinach would wilt down and the soup would kind of thicken up a little bit. This had so much flavor. It was so, so delicious. Next up, we are making these buffalo chicken tacos. For our seasonings, we will need one tablespoon of ranch seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a four teaspoon of salt, a four teaspoon of pepper, and then one teaspoon of parsley. We're gonna add our chicken breasts into the crock pot, just making sure to spread them out, and then going in with one tablespoon of chipotles and adobe sauce. This just gave it a nice subtle kick. It was really delicious. Now pour in one cup of buffalo sauce. I'm using the Franks, and then eight ounces or one stick of butter. We are gonna put this on high for three hours. While our chicken is cooking, we are gonna make this creamy jalapeno ranch. So to my blender, I have one jalapeno with the seeds, and then we are going to add in a half a cup of mayo, and then a half a cup of sour cream or plain Greek yogurt. And then you're gonna add in buttermilk, but I didn't have any, so I saw this was a way that you can make it on Pinterest. So I have a half a cup of milk and a few drops of lemon juice. I'm just gonna set that to the side for a few minutes. And then for our seasonings, I have one tablespoon of dried parsley, two teaspoons, spoons of dill, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of salt. It wasn't as thick as buttermilk, but I think it turned out good. And I just pulsed it for a few minutes. I am gonna take it off and give it a little shade just to make sure that nothing is kind of chunked to the bottom, that it is fully mixed together. Now that our chicken is done, we are just going to shred it with two forks. This was honestly the most tender chicken ever. It was really, really good, shredded up super easily. So I am now going to be putting mine in a taco. If you didn't wanna do tacos, you could definitely stop at this point. You could serve it on like a hoagie bun or even hamburger buns, but I am just gonna add a little bit into these carb smart tortillas, add some cheddar cheese that I shredded up, and then we are just going to place this into our pan. I made about six tacos because these tortillas were a little bit small. We are just gonna pour on a little bit of that buffalo sauce, cover this with cheese, and I just put this in the oven at 350 for about five to seven minutes just for that cheese to get nice and melted. These tacos were so easy to put together. I just poured a little bit of that creamy jalapeno ranch right on top and it was definitely the perfect pairing. This Creole chicken with sausage is jam-packed of flavor. To start, we're gonna need half of an onion and one minced garlic. Add this to our crock pot. And then for our sausage, I'm using this Cajun style andouille sausage. I'm just gonna be using two because this is half a recipe. Honestly, I wish I would have added all four because the sausage did get a little left behind with the chicken. We're adding in three chicken breasts right on top of that sausage and then pouring over two thirds cup of chicken broth. I'm using one and a half tablespoons of tomato paste, just plopping that right on there. And then for our tomatoes, I have these fire roasted diced tomatoes. I used half of the can, but I really wish I would have added the entire can, but this is completely up to you. Now pour in one fourth cup of tomato sauce 
this, followed by our seasonings of one teaspoon of Creole seasoning and one teaspoon of cayenne. I really wish I would have added more seasonings because it's kind of lacked on the spicy side, but that is just me who I really love spice. But I cooked this on low for six to eight hours or high for three hours. In the last 30 minutes, we are just going to dice up one green bell pepper, and then I just added this in there. At this point, the chicken was basically done. I'm just going in with the spoon and kind of shredding up that chicken, but we will place the lid back on this and then cook this on high for 30 minutes just until those bell peppers are done cooking. After 30 minutes, I went back in and completely shredded up the chicken. For me personally, I did add a little bit more of that Creole seasoning and some cheddar cheese, but this turned out so good. If you need some more crock pot recipes, check out this video here and I'll catch you guys there.